The content of this video is for the purpose of general instruction and understanding the concept of building your fence. The specific needs of your design may vary greatly depending on several factors. Welcome to Greenwood Fence. In this video, we will show you how to properly install your fence step by step. We suggest watching the video in its entirety before attempting the installation process. Before you begin, there are a few things you need to address. Contact your town, village, or city for any fence codes that may be in place. Have your in-ground utilities marked before digging. Ensure that your fence run is clear of any obstructions. Finally, plan and measure your fence run. The following is a checklist of tools that are required for installing your Greenwood fence system. Tape measure, spirit level, rubber mallet, post hole digger, drill with Phillips head or a Phillips head screwdriver, metal cutting saw or a hacksaw with a metal cutting blade, ground stakes, and a string line. Set ground stakes and string line. Determine where you want each end post to be set per run. Set your ground stakes just beyond where the end posts will be set, and then set your string line. Make sure your stakes are high enough to ensure an adequate height for the string line. Ensure that the string line is straight enough to maintain a firm, perfectly even line. Basic Aluminum Post Installation Using your post hole digger, dig a circular 8-inch diameter by 42-inch deep post hole. In Illinois, 42 inches is the recommended depth to get 6 inches beneath the frost line. Every state has different frost line depths. We advise that you check what your geolocation frost line depth is to ensure proper post installation. Insert the first end post in the middle of the hole and fill with cement. Using your spirit level, make sure the post is level each way and that the front side of the post aligns with the string line. Ensuring that the post is level on all sides as the cement curates is critical to maintaining a perfectly straight and aesthetic run. To determine where the next hole is to be dug, measure 74 inches from the center of the first post to the center of the next hole to be dug. Repeat the process of setting the second post. Again, using your spirit level, make sure the post is level each way. Make sure the poles are straight and parallel to one another and that the front sides of the posts are perfectly aligned to your string line. Ensure that the measurement is 74 inches from center post to center post. Repeat these steps as many times as necessary to complete your run. At the end of a normal run, the final end or corner post will measure less than 74 inches from center post to center post. As a result, the last section of the run will be less than 6 feet in width. Materials will therefore need to be shortened to correspond to the measurements of the final section, center post to center post. This can easily be addressed with a metal cutting blade in later steps. Installation of Aluminum Bottom Cover Determine where you want the bottom cover to be placed. Customize and cut two aluminum surface spacers by taking a side post cover and cutting it down to the desired size. Insert the surface spacer into the post slot down to the ground surface. Ensure the tops of each surface spacer are level with one another to ensure that the aluminum bottom cover and subsequent materials are all level resting upon the surface spacers. Install insertion brackets on both ends of the bottom cover with a drill or Phillips head screwdriver. Make sure there's about an eighth inch of play on each end. This allows for some flexibility when taking the bottom cover down the post if your measurements aren't exactly perfect. Install the bottom cover first by sliding the insertion bracket installed on each end of the bottom cover in the post channels with the groove side facing down and the tongue side facing up. Make sure the bottom cover lays flat on the surface spacer after sliding down each post channel. Because the ground at your particular location may not be perfectly level, Two-inch surface spacers should be secured to the post at varying heights in order to maintain a level fence line. In this example, the ground is slightly higher on one side. Following a string line, lift the sections by the bottom covers to the desired level height. Raise the surface spacers to the corresponding heights of the bottom covers and drill two self-tapping screws into each surface space post at varying heights. This will keep your leveled bottom covers secured into place. In cases where the slope or grade becomes too steep, we advise that you contact us for further assistance. Installation of the WPC boards. Insert each end of the WPC boards in the post slots of each post. Make sure the groove side of the WPC board is facing down and the tongue side is facing up. 
Make sure the WPC board locks into place and repeat with each board the same way until the desired height of the aluminum middle cover is reached. Installation of aluminum middle cover. Install insertion brackets on both ends of the middle cover with a drill or Phillips head screwdriver. Install the middle cover first by sliding the insertion brackets on each end of the middle cover into the post channels with the groove side facing down and the tongue side facing up. After the bottom groove surface of the aluminum middle cover has been locked into place with the top tongue surface of the WPC board, you can then add the remaining WPC boards into place. Installation of aluminum top cover. Install insertion brackets on both ends of the top cover with a drill or Phillips head screwdriver. Install the top cover first by sliding the insertion brackets on each end of the top cover into the post channels with the groove side facing down and the flat surface side facing up. To secure the top cover to the post, slide an L bracket into the opening of the top post just above the insertion bracket. Using the hole of the L bracket as a guide, drill a hole through the post. Use a self-tapping screw to secure the L bracket to the inside of the post. Adjust the post height. Measure the height of the post from the ground surface to the top of the post. The ideal height for a completed post from ground surface to post top is 75 inches. Using your metal cutting saw, cut the post down to 75 inches in height. Installation of aluminum spacers. Spacers are created by taking a side post cover and cutting it down to the desired size. Measure the spacer to fit the space between the top of the aluminum top cover and the top of the post and cut to size. Slide the spacers in the interior side of each post. Installation of side post cover. Measure the height of the unused open slot of the aluminum post. Apply the measurement to the side post cover and cut to size. Slide the side post cover in the channel of the open slot on the post to complete the installation. Installation of post cap. The posts are ready for the installation of post caps. Post caps are designed to firmly cover each post. We hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please call us. Our knowledgeable staff is here to help.